Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing my speed reviews. So if you're interested in seeing what products worked out for me this month and which didn't, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have four products that I tried out over the last month that were just kind of meh. And I have five products that I have been loving. So I am going to start off with the ones that are just okay. It's not something that I've purchased. They're not bad necessarily, but they're not, you know, tip top amazing. So the first thing that I have been using over the last month is this Clinique Even Better uh, Clinical Serum Foundation and Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Five. Uh, this is a good foundation. It's actually quite nice. It's very, very full coverage. Um, it gives a nice kind of appearance to the skin uh, without making it looking without making it look cakey. Um, but it doesn't wear off the nicest. It's actually quite, you know, once the day goes by, it doesn't wear off gracefully. So. Uh, because of that it has not been my favorite I have been using it and I have been kind of you know enjoying it for short of periods of time but for a full day wear not necessarily it's fine I will use it up but it's not something that I would consider uh, repurchasing I also tried out the Urban Decay uh, shadow sticks in the shade mildew it is a beautiful kind of forest army green color this is what it looks like. This is a really good shadow stick. Now, the reason that I have it in the meh category is because shadow sticks are not my favorite in general. They're not a, a formula that I enjoy putting on my eyes because I have hooded eyes and uh, they're quite oily. Anything that's a little bit too creamy just kind of creases on my eyes and doesn't look great. Uh, this worked okay when I used it on my eyes, but I did set it with a different kind of eyeshadow of this that, that has a similar color. And it worked fine then, but I don't think it would work necessarily uh, very good on my eyes if I were to have just that and uh, not set it with a different um, eyeshadow. So yeah. Although it's a very beautiful color, a beautiful uh, kind of very creamy form formula, it's not a product that I um, would consistently want in my collection. It's not a product that, you know, I necessarily need because I get my kick from powder eyeshadows because they seem to work better for my skin or for my oily eyelids. Next up, I have this Anastasia Blush Trio in pink passion i have another blush trio and you know the formula is very similar so this is what it looks like the reason that i'm saying it's just a, a meh product is because there's so much product here like you have three blushes i would probably never never go uh, through it if you're looking for some variety in your collection and you don't necessarily have too many blushes i would recommend this formula because it's quite soft very pigmented uh, so you do have to be careful when you put it on your cheeks because sometimes it can look a little bit clowny so here are the shades right here I use all three shades on my uh, face they all work well for me I don't have an issue with that whatsoever uh, so yeah if you have a smaller collection then I would say this is worth it but for me having a big collection as I have and uh, having so many blushes that I do um, this is just kind of um, unnecessary let's say I do love it I do love the colors and I'm happy that I have it but it's not something that I would seek out myself you know to to, to get although the colors are really beautiful the formula is really nice as well very pigmented uh, blends out easily very buttery top notch but it's not something that you know I would consider repurchasing if it were gone out of my collection and then the last just okay product is this Espa 24 hour replenishing eye moisturizer this is just fine I don't necessarily see doing anything else than moisturizing you know I like my I like my eye cream to provide a little bit of plumpness to this area or you know to kind of um, temporarily even smooth out my lines this is just hydrating and that's it hence why it's 
doesn't stand out for me and therefore I probably would not consider repurchasing it. It's just a basic eye cream, nothing to, you know, shout from the rooftops about. It's just fine, nothing special. Works fine, works, you know, okay, does the job, but it's not necessarily anything that, uh, you know, makes me wanna say I love it. It's, it's just not. Okay, so let's move on to the good stuff, the stuff that I would definitely, that I'm loving and I would consider repurchasing if I run out of them. The first thing, which unfortunately I won't be able to repurchase because the brand does not exist anymore. However, if uh, for some reason another brand takes over some of their stuff, for example, and this is a part of it, then I would consider repurchasing. Anyway, the product that I'm talking about is this. This is the Becca First Light, First Light Priming Filter. This is beautiful. This provides such a gorgeous kind of glow to the skin. And I don't know how to describe it. It just makes everything look so pretty on top. Um, it kind of evens out the skin tone because of the kind of purplish tone to it. You don't necessarily see that much of it on the skin but it is there and before you apply the foundation like when you're blending this primer in you can definitely notice it which for some people might be a minus for me it's actually not a bad thing because of how it works to cancel out um any let's say imperfections on the skin i do really enjoy this guy too bad we won't be able to get it anymore uh, but if we did i if i would run out of it and if it would be possible to repurchase i would next up is this huda beauty silk balm i have my one in the shade of blush this was this was on my wish list for quite a long time because uh, it's a like a 20 euro uh, lip balm okay and I don't think I would ever be able to justify it if it wasn't making my lips feel the way that it does glides on the lips makes them very kind of smooth you don't see the lines on this on the uh, lips it preps them very well for anything that you put on top whether it's you know a lip liner a lipstick a liquid lipstick or a gloss it does not matter it just preps them so so well i don't know i just love this lip balm and when i run out of lip balms and I were to repurchase i think i would invest in this one because i am absolutely loving it another thing that's quite recent in my collection i've been testing it out for about two weeks now uh this is the uh charlotte tilbury hollywood counter wand <sighs> i love this guys i tested it out for the first time um during my charlotte tilbury uh one brand tutorial and i told you it is one of the products that i would love to have my connection cut to have in my collection and i finally bit the bullet and uh, asked my friend to buy it for me she's a mua so she has a discount so i of course got it on a nice discount but this is the shade it is a very kind of neutral sort of shade it's not too bronzy it's not too cool toned it's just beautiful and when you blend it out it gives a beautiful shadow you can see that it gives a beautiful shadow to the cheeks which is exactly what you want from a contour um uh, kind of uh, product and it's very easy to apply because you just swipe 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 blend it out blends out in seconds and leaves a kind of gorgeous shadowy sort of effect on the cheeks i really enjoy it i would if i finish this ever i would definitely consider repurchasing next up is a lipstick this is the amber light uh no sorry this is the alia color black lipstick in the shade amber light so Oh, it's hard for me to explain this color. It is a nudey kind of um, oh, rosy, 
lipstick this is what it looks like here it looks just gorgeous on the lips and i really like the formula it is a cream lipstick so you do have to be careful because it will move around it's not one that kind of sets down on uh the uh, lips it is a more creamy formula but because of that it is a very comfortable to wear and very comfortable to reapply uh, i'm loving the formula i'm loving the color and i'm loving that the way that it looks on my lips with my kind of skin tone and everything it just looks absolutely gorgeous i do enjoy these lipsticks and i'm glad that i have them i have two other ones in different colors that i would love to try to see if the color suits me as much as this one does and the last product that i have in my favorites category is this casual mochi pop bouncy blendable blush in the shade 02 atmosphere so this is a um, kind of cream bouncy blush i freaking love it let me just give you a good swatch of it it is a beautiful kind of peachy pink shade i do have it on my cheeks today underneath my powder blush which is the anastasia blushes and yeah this is what that blush looks like it's very kind of smooth it's very blendable it's matte but it's creamy enough that you can it just, that you can that it applies very um uh, gracefully on the uh, i didn't catch that could you try again no <laughs> that it just applies very gracefully on the cheeks i have been loving it on my cheeks and what i do is i actually apply it with a stippling brush like this this is from japanesque this is the 962 i just kind of uh, stick my brush in there and apply it on my cheeks blend it out a little bit and i am done blends out in seconds as well really gorgeous formula and i just enjoy it very very beautiful but that is actually it for today's video these are all the products that um i was trying out throughout uh november to see what i like what i don't like thankfully there isn't anything that i absolutely despised a lot of these products are very good products that you know some of them i would consider repurchasing some of them are just you know kind of a one hit wonder for me but i still enjoy having them and using them until i finish them basically uh, but that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in my next one bye Mwah.